the American creed is a rather simple and direct one. We're all created by a super being, a supreme being, and all of us are endowed with certain unalienable rights. Among them are life, liberty, personal freedom, and the ability to pursue our happiness on equal terms. Over the years, black people were denied the latter right that was given to us, civil rights as we call them. Black people were denied that, enslaved as well as living separate lives, segregation, couldn't marry outside your so-called race, and you were denied all of the privileges and rights of other Americans. Being the good nation that we are, we tried to correct the wrong in 1960s, 1961 especially, when President John F. Kennedy signed an executive order that sought to end the discrimination against people who were black by saying that he wanted all agencies or all people or all contractors that received federal money to take every kind of action they could to ensure that people would be hired and contracted, quote, without regard to their race, color, or religion. That action is where we really ought to be right now. Just make sure we don't discriminate against people. Four years later, after that executive order, President Kennedy had been assassinated and his successor was President Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and he signed an executive order of his own, 11246, that changed profoundly from the Kennedy executive order. Johnson's executive order said, you don't take a man who's been hobbled by chains, bring him to the starting line of a race, tell him to run the race and think that you have been fair. So Johnson's executive order wanted to see some results. He wanted to see whether or not federal dollars were being used to benefit primarily black people, Negroes, as we were called in those days. 65 years after that executive order was signed, or 55 years, we're still living with it, but our society has changed profoundly. No longer is America a nation of black and white. We have so many people from different parts of the globe, different colors, different cultures, different religions, that it is impossible for us to have a, a affirmative action policy that gives out results based on our demographic group. The people of California in their infinite wisdom saw the need to provide a framework for the future that we are now experiencing when they passed Proposition 209 that I had the honor of chairing. And Proposition 209 was very simple in saying that the state, meaning all government, small s, the state shall not discriminate against or grant preferential treatment to any individual or group on the basis of race, sex, color, ethnicity or national origin in the operation of public employment, public education, or public contracting. That initiative was opposed by the University of California Board of Regents uh, on which I served, by the major race advocacy groups, Latino race advocacy groups, advocacy groups, and the Americans of Asian descent were neutral on this. Although I predicted at the time that someday you're going to come to your senses and realize that affirmative action is not in your economic best interest. That day has come because the demographics of California have changed. Uh, whites are now no longer the majority. Latinos are the majority. 
Uh, and although Americans of Asian descent have increased uh, to about 15%, Blacks are still about 6%. The Latinos are very activist now. They control the legislature, they have a supermajority, and they are now living out their wish of doing away with Proposition 209. If that were to happen, and I'm not trying to pit one group against another, but it's important for us to be honest and transparent about this. I know that if this is repealed, my community, which, is, uh, which I've adopted, which is a community of Asian Americans, they're going to take a big hit, especially in the academic setting because the new majority is going to do everything they can to increase their numbers in the state, in public, in the government especially, and in the University of California. They believe in the argument that a UC Berkeley education translates into success in getting a job. So this state is going to be in a position of turmoil if Proposition 209 is repealed. So this is probably one of the most important decisions that the people of this great state will ever have to face. And I strongly urge those who are sitting on the sidelines, especially those who are white and people of, Amer of Asian descent, to pay attention to it and prepare to it because it's yourselves and it's your kids and your grandkids who will pay the price if Proposition 209 is repealed. Thank you for listening.